A painting by Australian artist Frederick McCubbin is expected to fetch more than a million dollars at auction in Sydney tonight. Whisperings in Wattle Boughs was painted in 1886 and has remained in the possession of the same family for more than 100 years. Geoffrey Smith is the chairman of Sotheby's Australia. Uh, Frederick McCubbin's Whisperings in Wattle Boughs is the last painting of its kind remaining in private ownership. It was painted at the Box Hill Camp in Melbourne and that uh, time represents the origins or the foundings of Australian Impressionism. Now it's uh, all part of a, a bigger auction that's taking place uh, this evening. What are the, some of the items on offer that you like and some of the, the prices also you're hoping to get? Uh, this sale is absolutely extraordinary in the quality and rarity of works being offered. Uh, the McCubbin, for example, hasn't ever been offered for auction before uh, it, since 1886. And likewise, Arthur Boyd's dry creek bed, Alice Springs, painted in 1953, uh, depicting Indigenous Australians, uh, that has never been offered since it was acquired by the Wenzel family in 1957. What about the timing of this? Uh art auction this evening. It'll be being held at about the same time or uh, as the Treasurer is on his feet in Canberra delivering a, a budget that is all about spending cuts. There is this atmosphere of tightening the purse strings. How is all that affecting the art market? Not much from the sound of it. Well, it's all about rarity and quality. And if uh, people are looking for reasons not to buy, uh, they'll always find those reasons. But in this instance, People have been waiting for decades for these pictures to come onto the market. Are people selling because they need the money? Uh, no, it's just timing. Uh, there's always situations whereby people are compelled uh, to release with major works of art. And uh, the fact that these works have never uh, been offered uh, previously uh, for sale, it's just simply a matter of, uh, of timing. Do you feel that people are turning to art as, a, as an investment that's uh, less volatile than other uh, things like stocks and shares? I think the wonderful aspect about art is that people can enjoy uh, these extraordinary paintings on their walls on a daily basis. Uh, it's tangible. These works are also historic and are very important in the history and development of Australian art and, and our country. Geoffrey Smith, best of luck with the auction tonight. Thanks for talking to us. Thank you very much for your interest.